you have to say, then how would you apply it and to what end? Then you would have to take into a whole pur the whole purpose of using intelligence to move mankind forward. But she said, it's obvious he moves himself forward. That's a measure of his success. This idea of group and responsibility or understanding the impl impact on groups is liberal. But that should be, yeah, okay. I, what I'm saying is that you can't have an intelligence test unless you include that aspect. It has to have an element of, of humanity in it. It has to be liberal to be intelligent. It has to be able to distinguish between good and bad. No, that's not part of the intelligence vision for the for See, you've betrayed the fact that you're a liberal. I certainly have. Well, my language and my my view about intelligence <coughs> having to affect mankind in a positive way. Now, someone can reject your views since they label your view as being liberal. As what? And, right. and so the only thing I can do is say, well, then what you're saying is that intelligence has nothing to do with the advancement of mankind. Yes. And that uh, if you can, yeah. if you can be intelligent and you have no regard for mankind, yes. then you can be truly called intelligent and and avoid the the, the pitfalls of liberalism. And what do you? But, but the question is, what do you get in place of of that? What remains? Then intelligence and no regard for humanity. Intelligence has to be by necessity has to have no regard for intent and humanity because then it becomes liberal. That's right. That's that's the right. view. See, I don't go that way. I just yeah, you know, but I mean, that's this person here. <coughs> and it's, and Precisely, it's on on the web. I guess to me. So how, how would you argue against that? Well. Uh, I would put, I, I tried. Yeah, uh, you see, um, see, I would like, I would mm. like to reflect on it, and, uh, not merely reject her view, but in some way get through that maybe she ought to question her view and look for an alternative. So that's okay. Now, like it's formidable. <laughs> that view is formidable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, how do you get through with that kind of thinking? <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to preclude the well-being of an individual because Trump is pretty much sitting in the captured seat right now. He seems to be pretty pretty well off without being a liberal and that kind of intelligence. So it, it doesn't seem to... See, one of the interesting things that came out of this election <coughs> is how many teachers voted for Trump. Really? Oh, I yeah. Don't, I, don't, I, I couldn't imagine any one of them, but... So oh, yeah. Okay. That's the same thing. See, here's a psychology yeah. PhD. We've gone through the whole system, mm -hmm. and nothing impacted that person's fundamental views about how people think. What? Right? Nothing. I mean, what? Like, it really, it's a whole damn cultural problem. That they didn't care how he said it, what he said. Nothing. But, no, see, how is it that someone could go through this system? Right? Like you're talking about uh, 20 years of education, probably. Right? 8, 12, 16, right? Probably 20 years plus. And in a field of psychology, I mean, which is <coughs> which is ironic. <laughs> <laughs>
in many, like, many ways. How can they come out of psychology? <coughs> Which presumably deals with them somehow. I mean, how do they deal with rationality? It's, it's astonishing to me. It's like slogans. <clears throat> like, what if, what if we had a analysis of the vote in terms of professions, and we look at fun. the psychologists? What percentage of voting for Trump? Philosophers. What percentage of voted for Social sciences. No, on and on. Mm-hmm. Now, Barbara has the answer to that. No, I don't have the answer to that. I need time to just settle in. Hi, Barbara. Hi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I mean, it's astonishing. Yeah, it, it, but but see, we're 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 at a disadvantage of having encountered a number of texts just put that on in there. which. The, the yeah. intelligence, yes. mind, and what human mind is capable of accomplishing yes. in terms of moving one mm-hmm. through life mm-hmm. also has as a primary factor that it has to lead them and all people towards the <coughs> And modern education has left the self and the well-being of the self oh. completely aside. Com- that's right. And and therefore, somebody to get honors and PhDs and packed on one another would never could could possibly never have encountered that idea. Well, it, it's it's like uh, it seems like it's or has a real hostility towards it, which would be even more interesting. And it is a hostility. Right. Right. It's a hostility and against what are called liberals. And that's what I think is more interesting that there's a hostility towards that kind of thing. Right. Where would that come from? What would make somebody not care about somebody else? And go through all of the tests and all of the studies and come out. Like, how is it that none of the psychology tests that qualify someone to be a psychotherapist or a psychologist in California allow this kind of person to emerge with honor? With what? With, what? With honors. Who is this we're talking about? Uh, a particular individual here is communicating with, mm. who claimed um, that one fault in what many people are saying on his web screen is that they're, that they're liberals. <laughs> and she happens to be a brilliant PhD and her credentials are... <coughs> Has all these IQ tests and things to show that she's in the top two percent of, of people who know how to pass the IQ tests. <laughs> so she can at least see a common element. That's one result of her PhD. But but the criticism is that if you if if you make any statement about the implications of what's going on, you're a liberal. Right. If you see any of them, oh, that's yeah. even nicer. So <laughs> you're a she liberal. Seeing implications is a liberal. <laughs> right? Cool. Well, that's I'm funny. jumping ahead, but I think that's where you're going. No, but if you make conclusions, but you see on the other side, they say the implications of wealth as a, as a significant sign of success, maturity, and accomplishment. This sounds like your dad. If you're so smart, why aren't you rich? Right. Right. <laughs> Well, I mean, your dad had that point. In other words, boy, am I dumb. I'm not. Boy, are you unsuccessful? My boss is a so-called. He's a. He claims to be a Republican. Said he always has been. But when we talk about Trump and who he's putting into office, he's like, we're putting more and more billionaires in. And I think we both share a common view of billionaires just crush other people to get there. Mm. No, see, like, that's interesting. I've worked for too many of them, and because I see this person is saying that's a mark of intelligence and success. That is success. And yet they can't see implications, or they can't see the implications that the other people are seeing, which is the truth. We we'd like to say at least my boss and I. How did they require that wealth? Now one customer of ours, it seems like, is pretty just random luck thing for them. But uh, the rest of them, you see how they behave. And you're like, geez. 
You're a monster. The only thing people like about you is you can pay the bill. You run into those guys while you're working? I hate them, but I still smile and say, sure, what do you want done? <coughs> So your boss did or did not vote for Trump? Oh, uh, this guy, he's a foreign national. I don't think he can vote. But my well, then the big boss, I think he voted for Trump, but I'm not sure. He sounded like he was pretty disgusted with both choices. Mm -hmm. At least a lot of the, uh, the contractors that I work around with and talk to, some of them told me they voted for Trump. And it's just their hatred of the uh, established system. And they don't seem too thrilled with Trump either. Like they didn't, they didn't like the guy either, but um, they hated the establishment more. Yeah. <clears throat> so they were willing to yeah, roll the dice and see, see what happens. What's curious is that that is the establishment. <clears throat> yep. They, well. <laughs> yeah. What's <laughs> that, that, is, bad, that yeah. is the establishment? I uh, say, well, we just got a whole bunch of like real oligarchs instead of people who <laughs> dodged yeah. around what they are. <laughs> No, they were behind the scenes. Now they're oh, yeah. in the closet. Yeah. Now they have it. <laughs> yeah. hmm. oh, wow. Well, it's got to be the most despicable gathering of politicians to ever enter the White House at one time. Well, this new appointment in labor, its primary goal is to disenfranchise unions. Yeah, he thinks across the, the board, wage. and all the right to work and all of those measures are all going out the window. And, and he believes that the minimum wage should remain at $7 an hour. That's right. Yep. He's the guy. Yeah, he owns the Burger King. Yeah, but someone is going to say, yeah, that's right. Thank goodness we're re
supposed to be included. And the history of philosophy is part of STEM, too. So it's, it's a whole don't teach it coup. Way. It's really an intellectual coup that's taken place where they can justify ignoring so, do you know the social sciences. Yeah, me. Oh, oh. And I'm fired up. I want to oh. write an article. When? I'm pissed off. When? Oh, God, I don't know when. Hey! Um, if you had to say, then how would you apply it and to what end, then you would have to take into a whole pur the whole purpose of using intelligence to move mankind forward. But she said, it's obvious he moves himself forward, that's a measure of his success. This idea of group and responsibility or understanding the imp impact on groups is liberal. But that should, yeah, oh. okay. I, what I'm saying is that you can't have an intelligence test yeah. unless you include that aspect. Right. It has to have an element of, of humanity in it. It has to be liberal to be intelligent. It has to be able to distinguish between good and bad. No, that's not part of the intelligence vision for, te for the See, you've betrayed the fact that you're a liberal. I certainly have. Well, my language and my my view about intelligence <coughs> having to affect mankind in a positive way. Now, someone can reject your views since they label your view as being liberal. As what? And right. and so the only thing I can do is say, well, then what you're saying is that intelligence has nothing to do with the advancement of mankind. Yes. And that uh, if you can yeah. if you can be intelligent and you have no regard for mankind, yeah. then you can be truly called intelligent. And and avoid the the, the pitfalls of liberalism. And what do you but, but the question is what do you get in place of of that? What remains? Then intelligence and no regard for humanity. Intelligence has to be good. By necessity, has to have no regard for intent and humanity because then it becomes liberal. That's right. That's that's the right. view. See, I don't call that way. I just yeah, you know, but I mean, that's this person here. <coughs> and it's, and Precisely, it's on on the web. I guess to me. So if, how, how would you argue against that? Well. Uh, I would put. I I tried. Yeah. Uh, you see. Um, see, I would like. I would mm. like to reflect on it, and uh, not merely reject her view, but in some ways get through that maybe she ought to question her view and look for an alternative. So that's. Okay, now I'm going to do it. Like it's formidable. <laughs> that view is formidable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, how do you get through with that kind of thinking? <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to preclude the well being of an individual because Trump is pretty much sitting in the catbird seat right now. He seems to be pretty pretty well off without being a liberal and that kind of intelligence. So it, it doesn't seem to... See, one of the interesting things that came out of this election <coughs> is how many teachers voted for Trump. Really? Oh, I yeah. Don't, I, don't, I, I couldn't imagine any one of them, but... So. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the same thing. See, here's a psychology yeah. PhD. We've gone through the whole system, mm -hmm. and nothing impacted that person's fundamental views about how people think. What? Nothing. I mean, what? Like, it really, it's a whole damn cultural problem. That 
But no, see, how is it that someone could go through this system? Right? Like you're talking about uh, 20 years of education, probably, right? Eight, 12, 16, right? Probably 20 years plus. And in a field of psychology, I mean, which is, which is <coughs> ironic. In many, like, many how, ways. how can they come out of psychology, <coughs> which presumably deals with them somehow? I mean, how, how do they deal with rationality? It's, it's astonishing to me. It's like slogans. <coughs> like, what if, what if we had a analysis of the vote in terms of professions. And we look at fun. the psychologists. What percentage of voting for Trump? <laughs> Philosophers. What percentage of voting for Trump? Social scientists. No, on and on. Mm-hmm. Now, Barbara has the answer to that. No, I don't have the answer to that. I need time to just settle in. Hi, Barbara. Hi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I mean, it's astonishing. Yeah, it, it, but but see, we're 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 at a disadvantage of having encountered a number of texts in there. which the, the yeah. intelligence, yes. mind, and what human mind is capable of accomplishing yes. in terms of moving one mm-hmm. through life yes. also has as a primary factor that it has to be them and all people towards the world. And modern education has left the self and the well-being of the self no. completely aside. Com- that's right. And, and therefore, somebody to get honors and PhDs and packed on one another would never, could, could possibly never have encountered that idea. Well, it, it's, it's like... Uh, it seems like it's... Or has a real hostility towards it, which would be even more interesting. And it is a hostility. Right, right. It's a hostility against what are called liberals. And that's what I think is more interesting, that there's a hostility towards that kind of thing. Right. Where would that come from? What would make somebody not care about somebody else? And go through all of the tests and all of the studies and come out Like, how is it that none of the psychology tests that qualify someone to be a psychotherapist or a psychologist in California allow this kind of person to emerge with honors? With what? With, what? with honors. What is this we're talking about? Uh, a particular individual here is communicating with mm. who claimed um, that one fault in what many people are saying on his web screen is that they're that they're liberals. <laughs> and she happens to be a brilliant PhD and her credentials are she has all these IQ tests and things to show that she's in the top two percent of, of people who know how to pass their IQ tests. <laughs> so she can at least see a common element. That's one result of her PhD. But but the criticism is that if you if if you make any statement about the implications of what's going on, you're a liberal. Right. Hmm. If you see any of the implications, oh, that's even nicer. So <laughs> you're a she liberal. Seeing implications is a liberal. <laughs> right. Cool. Well, that's I'm funny. jumping ahead, but I think that's where you're going. No, but if you make conclusions, but you see on the other side, they say the implications of wealth. As a, as a significant sign of success, maturity, and accomplishment. This sounds like your dad. If you're so smart, why aren't you rich? Right? Right. <laughs> well, I mean, your dad had that point. In other words, boy, am I dumb. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. Boy, are you unsuccessful? Yeah. My boss is a... There, so boss. called. He's a, he claims to be a Republican. He said he always has been, but when... It, we talk about Trump and who he's putting into office. He's like, we're putting more and more billionaires in. 
And I think we both share a common view of billionaires just crush other people to get there. Mm. No, see, like, that's interesting. I've worked for too many of them, and because I see this how person they act. is saying that's a mark of intelligence and success. That is success. And yet they can't see implications, or they can't see the implications that the other people are seeing, which is the truth. Like we we'd like to say at least my boss and I. How did they require that wealth? Now one customer of ours, it seems like, is a pretty just random luck thing for them. But uh, the rest of them, you see how they behave, and you're like, geez, you're a monster. The only thing people like about you is you can pay the bill. You run into those guys while you're working? I hate them, but I still smile and say, sure, what do you want done? <clears throat> so your boss did or did not vote for Trump? Oh, uh, this guy, he's a foreign national. I don't think he can vote. But my well, then the big boss, I think he voted for Trump, but I'm not sure. He sounded like he was pretty disgusted with both choices. Mm -hmm. At least a lot of the uh, the contractors that I work around with and talk to, some of them told me they voted for Trump, and it's just their hatred of the uh, established system, and they don't seem too thrilled with Trump either. Like they didn't, they didn't like the guy either, but um, they hated the establishment more. Yeah. <clears throat> So they were willing to yeah, roll the dice and see so what happens. What's curious is that that is the establishment. <clears throat> They, well, <laughs> yeah. well, it's, that, it's is, bad, that yeah. is an establishment. I say, well, we just got a whole bunch of like real oligarchs instead of people who <laughs> dodged yeah. around what they are. <laughs> no, they were behind the scenes. Now they're oh, in yeah. the closet. Yeah. Now they have it. <laughs> yeah. hmm. oh, wow. Well, it's got to be the most despicable gathering of politicians ever enter the White House at one time. Well, this new appointment in labor, his primary goal is to disenfranchise unions. Yeah, he thinks across the, the board. wage. And all the right to work and all of those measures are all going out the window. And, and he believes that the minimum wage should remain at $7 an hour. That's right. Yep. He's the guy. Yeah, he owns the Burger King. Yeah, but someone is going to say, yeah, that's right. Thank goodness we're re
supposed to be included. And the history of philosophy is part of STEM, too. So it's, it's a whole don't teach it coup. Way. It's really an intellectual coup that's taken place where they can justify ignoring so, do you know the social sciences. Kind of mm -hmm. Yeah, me. Oh, oh. And I'm fired up. I want to oh. write an article. When? I'm pissed off. When? Oh, God, I don't know when. The hell with they're happening? done directly, you have to also send because the, to the, the media in some way. Because that was an, I think KPF it was an act of Congress something with it. to put the Graduate Research Fellowships really in place and National Science Foundation in place. So it's really a coup against the government. I see. If you know that, yeah. what are you going to do with it? I don't know. Except rant. I don't know. Well... <clears throat> How do Send I coffee <coughs> register the newspaper? No, roll just down. everywhere. Yeah. Well, and also, what's that alternative hey. thing that comes hey, up? Oh, you, see, we group. You got a degree? Yeah, I mean, it's local, but you I, can publish some stuff under your name. Among all the journals, you couldn't find one that would be accepted. You're pulling my leg. Okay. I mean, my dean at, at Fullerton said write an article for the school newspaper, for example. That would be good. Well, I mean. You could you could CC them or something, but it seems like that's. It. I was that? saying OC Weekly, which but that's local. But if you sent it to some national yeah, journal, that's you right. could also like do something in different that's ways, right. in a different, slightly different form or whatever. I have a question for you though. Can I ask? Uh, which is what is it that really does um, does teach people to be human beings? I mean, Pardon have me. a. That's the question. Oh, I, got got it. I thought you guys had no, no, answered no. it. No, no, you got it. Okay, because <clears throat> it see, because I I used to just notice there's a difference between humanities educated people and non humanities educated people, but I don't think that's really the distinction. No. And so, um, and I used to just kind of broad stroke, you know, those people, and um, so that's. Now go back to your question. Hmm. Yeah, go back the way you expressed it at first. Yeah, I, man. I have no idea. That's why I asked. No, no. Could you go back to the way you expressed it? Well, when I said, what is it that teaches people to be human beings? Yeah. Or educates them? Oh, that's so they can account, see... But well, what did I say? I will. Political science is also part of... Well, so that... They, because social science? They, they actually tell you you can learn compassion. I was looking at this. Um, and in my family, I really... Sometimes I think I had to learn compassion. Because I... The way that, that I was raised, it was like... Um, that was liberal. <laughs> and, and they just kind of treated me so harshly, and I think everyone in the family, that I didn't have the feeling that it was like, well, that bothered you? Well, suck it up, you know. It's your problem. You know, kind of thing. Yeah, good soldier. And, you know, I don't even know if we admitted to feeling, having feelings. And so I just kind of started saying, no, that's a bad thing you know, um, about different human situations. And those, those, and that's my situation now where I think I, I you know, have more compassion for people. But I really kind of, I, I really do wonder what, what it is that leads one to be compassionate, what it is that leads one to be a real human being and not just a functioning part of the machine. I don't know if that's a, see, it's really a, not. Mm. For some reason, I don't know exactly, I think it was in response to an article I read yeah, about a month ago. So I put on, on the Facebook a series of points of view, one after the other. I've got 50 responses from a wide variety. 35 responses, 52. <laughs> and, uh, All right. No, no. So what does that mean? And among them is, is a great person who came forward and said, you know, is everybody on this Facebook that you're responding to all liberals? Is that the same person who yeah, made the comment yeah, about implications? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was so there's, that was there's a certain view 
that they're looking at all the responses that come in and saying, hey, you know what's common to these 50 people? They're all liberals. That's what's wrong. Well, see, that's the person I'm talking about. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, no, Julie and I were talking about the comment about implications. Did you put that on the internet? Is that your? No. I, 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 that I, was, this person was saying those I, oh. people who respond, they're that saying people part. who draw implications by necessity are liberals was the way I understood the point. No, that was just out of this dialogue. I, I was not, oh, okay, I was gotcha. Not, okay. Not, it wasn't from observation. I've been okay. avoiding Facebook because when I get on there, I say things and then the next day I have to remove them because I go on such radical rants that I'm sure I'm on some CI list by then. So sorry, Pierre. No, I'm just trying to get clear. No, on. it's the issue, you know, like, uh, I'm a little bit. You want some more coffee? I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll thank you, I'll get it though. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> See, there's something going on which is extremely important, right? There's a whole mindset that, that Trump is advancing, and he represents. And uh, some reflective thinkers think that we're not, we are not going to recover from four years of this kind of thinking. It's going to end up and a whole series of disasters, mm -hmm. yep. right? Well, uh, what, why is it that our so-called educated people don't see that? Like, why the hell is it that yeah. <coughs> <coughs> uh, with all with all the schooling people have, the so-called dropouts. I was a dropout. They kicked me out of high school when I was 16. No, so I'm a dropout. Well, I don't think that's quite the same. You were expelled. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, well, but you <laughs> see, um, <coughs> dropout means you weren't interested, which is the expulsion. See, something is surfaced, and this is what surfaced because of Trump. But though it's been brewing for many years, mm -hmm. this is the response to the neocons, essentially. Could you pass that down here? Thank you. Grab it first, Joe. This is a response to the neocons, the four years of Trump? Or that, that Trump exists and that we're going to have to endure? Um. <laughs> I thought that the other day that perhaps another run with the neocons would be better than what we're going to get. <laughs> well, um, they're kind of neo neo con cons. See, they're, they're, which is really interesting because uh, in world politics there, there are two different views, fundamentally two different views. Hmm. One is geopolitical, which is. <coughs> essentially authored by Adolf and the people that are, you know, expressed Adolf's views. You look at the globe and you see where the resources are. Forget countries. Mm -hmm. And you look it over and you say, uh, uh, what do you need? Mm -hmm. Now you design your politics in terms of what you see you need. Wow. <coughs> you being the individual or the countries? That's right. gross. So Adolf looks at the map and he says, well, <clears throat> yeah, Europe is a problem, but uh, the real problem is uh, the Ukraine. The what? The Ukraine. Oil, mm -hmm. gas. And by problem means they have what I want. Yeah. <laughs> that That's very black sea. And is therefore, but a big there's oil a whole, pump. right? There's a whole then political movement with arms, munitions, degenerating people for ready for war, to do that. I mean, that's the goal. That view is our present neocons. They oh, took off mm -hmm. Adolf Hitler's viewpoint that the key to the world lies in the Middle East. Therefore, dominate it, right? Have all your politics 
in such a way that anybody who opposes you is naturally your enemy. Now the other viewpoint <clears throat> is not geopolitical. The other, the other viewpoint is uh, looking at the world in terms of potential threats. Mm. Now you Fair look at question. it and you say, well, uh, if, if this country may be in fact my opponent, then his neighbors I should make friends of. Mm -hmm. And uh, set up bases there. Yeah, and yeah, and if there are other uh, nations that dislike that country for whatever reason, we don't care. They're naturally our ally. That was ta that was uh, Trump's call to Taiwan. Yeah. Wasn't right. Yeah. Right, right. To, to build to build a, a relationship with Taiwan as close to China as you could get. And Japan now too. And Japan, yeah, yeah. afraid of Japan. Yeah, but you see, because it, potential it, nuclear. What about see, but in terms of this thinking, the only threat the United States have is China. Therefore, our natural our natural ally is Russia. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. So therefore. These people are working against the ancient view of looking at the world in terms of friends and foes. And mm -hmm. if you're gonna the enemy of the en by enemy is my right. friend, right? Yeah. So that's that's why we're courting Putin. That's right. And that's why he wants Trump friends is. of Putin, and that's why he, he, he goes. Yeah, but the reason he wants it is for other reasons, for his own as a matter of fact. Mm. You know, he ripped them off that's and. Uh, they allowed him to rip them off, <laughs> and he created oligarchs over there, and so did Putin, and therefore they're buddies economically. Mm. Right. What's, what's the ancient uh, political thing that we're going against? Hmm? What's the ancient political view that we're going against? What you need a name for it? Cold over there. Yeah, what like what were you referring to just now? The sun all come up. Yeah, so what sh so are we currently going against the geopolitical view? Well, remember, geopolitical view is, is the view that you look at the world in terms of resources and you make your choices only in terms of that and you ignore all physical realities and political realities. You ignore them. So no one has any idea like the art of government for the benefit of the subject. That's right. Mm. Right. It's and yeah, that's right. Nobody has that. It's just the benefit of the rulers. Yeah. No. And uh, now, see what's emerged is uh, <clears throat> uh, Trump is entering into the scene for his own personal gain. Right. He's not after oil. He's you know he's not trying to make friends with with, with Russia because of some fundamentally economic coexistence. He wants to make a buck. That's what's driving him. And therefore, he's going to align himself with the kinds of people that are like him, who benefit him, which are the oligarchs. The so like, Club, if there's ever, the US yeah, If there's ever a reform in Russia, and they want to denude, as it were, the oligarchs, our friend Trump will lose. Should See, it's like a, it's a different political. It's neither. It's neither of these two models that's mm -hmm, emerging. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're asking. I think I, I might have an answer for what people missed about him. This is the answer I hear mm. to you a lot. Why aren't you scared of Trump? You know, like robbing us blind. Oh no, no, he's got so much money he doesn't Trump. need to. Uh, they, don't and they don't see that. I'm like, hey, that's what drives these guys more and more and more. That's right. Like there is no. End of what is it? Um, That's if, right. if you don't <laughs> want to play paintball, how many was enough kills? Yeah. There is not enough. There's not enough money. Well, I said when I play anything. paintball, like just shooting another player, I'm like, how many is enough? There is never enough. Yeah. It only ends at the end of the day, I'm good enough, and then the next week I want that many more. That's right. There is never a. There is never an There's end. never an end to it. But see, that, that great woman who was the author of that. Uh, Potter series. Uh, rolling. 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 Right? 
What did she do? Yeah. She announced that she was giving 90% of all the wealth that she had, she had gained by the sale of all of the stuff connected with her books to charity. She said, I, I don't need that much money to live. She is so cool. So 80% of her, over 80% of her money. She said, look for good good causes. Yeah. And I'm sure we're talking billions here. We yeah. are. Yeah. We are. She's yeah, a she's the richest author that I've ever been in history. It might have been, I, I don't know if I heard $300 million. It wasn't a billion, but it might have been a billion. Yeah. I, and, but still, $300 million. I'm getting, um, you want to move your chair down? I think Gina's edging in with the heater. You know, one time I saw Newt Gingrich being interviewed about Trump, and they were asking him, you know, if they, if he thought he would ask him to be on his cabinet. They were talking, and finally the interviewer said, well, what do you think of Trump? And Gingrich said, he's a pirate. And it was dropped, right? No one's ever picked that up, but I'm thinking that's a very good way of talking about him. No, it's a good way of talking about any oligarch. So what are the principles of piracy? I know they want the booty. Well, you right? can go with oligarchy in the republic, right? Oh, okay, that's what pirate? Uh, pirates are oligarchs? Yeah. Oh, okay. And people don't matter. People are in the way. People are in the way, yeah. Although the tyrant might be a better model for Trump, do you think? Or is he just, is he simply an oligarch? I was thinking the tyrant because of his, you know, his very small inner circle of people he trusts and every, you know, okay. like trying to bring his family <laughs> in as the... That's right. Yeah. Good old paternalism, it's in. That's right. And the paranoia that, it, you know, everybody else is up. <laughs> and Schwarzenegger is next in line to succeed Trump. Just for your information. Impossible. Why? Well, oh, he's not, he he's wasn't not born here. Well, he it's not that he's not born here. Well, I, I think I Trump mean, will change all the laws so that he can come in. So that Schwarzenegger can come in. Not like a really? Congress thing there. Nobody respects Schwarzenegger. He just was given the apprentice job. Oh, no. As head of the apprentice for the next season. Okay, well, some people respect Schwarzenegger. Yuck. No, so Gingrich came in and said that. So um, he surfaced this. He surfaced this movement. Mm -hmm. Right. And now it's a national, a national banner. <laughs> and he did it on the backs of the very people who are going to suffer the most for it. Mm -hmm. Well, right. it, it's natural that. Uh, among a, a certain group of people that if you offer five things, they don't care about the four if they like the one that is personal to them. Mm -hmm. I've always the case, so it doesn't make any difference if you criticize these mm -hmm. and show how absurd they are. It doesn't matter because they respond to the particular one that they believe, they hope, he will carry out. Which is to change U.S. government because it doesn't benefit them. Yeah. That was the big one, that we need change. Drain the swamp. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's a... And, and I've, heard, I've heard many news, news interviews where, um, you know, given one, two, three things that Trump has done, they'll always ignore the rape issue, or, or whatever it is, Ever. and and talk it, talk it down, or we'll talk around it, and talk about the one thing they do right. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Very interesting. Yeah, the oh. Deutsche Bank in Germany, they settled with Trump, and are willing to pay 7.2 billion dollars in fines because of their role in the recession and the phony mortgage crisis that was all over the world, especially in the United States, of which Trump gained 300 million. Wow. <laughs> this is just recent or something? Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> wow. They admitted. Did he get 300 million of that money or he gained it during the that was his cut. That was his cut? Through his, through his relationships with the German bank mm -hmm. that defrauded people 
they just fined them $7.2 billion. Among that role, he drew $300 million from that bank. That was his cut. Yeah, as one cut. Of the, yeah. He doesn't have to pay any of the fine. No. Wow. He was a plaintiff, it sounds like. Oh, was that right? <laughs> a plaintiff. I mean, God sake. See, like there are different rules for this this yeah. group. Totally different rules. Law doesn't apply. He also uh, tweeted yesterday. Just, I, I, this is changing the subject a lot. But for Christmas, he tweeted. Tweeted, uh, we need to expand our nuclear arsenal. Right. I thought that, that's was, that sick. Was, that was his Christmas present to the world. Get back into the arms. We war. need. Uh, we need to the start World nuclear War. Nuclear arms. Yeah. Now, now you have to take a look at his portfolio, stock portfolio, and see what he's going to make. Where his money is. Yeah. Yep. Because everything is, comes back to the right. one thing: how he can benefit. Yeah. which he refuses to uh, disclose mm -hmm. because we would see his relationship with the mafia mm -hmm. yeah the it's Russian not, mafia I don't think I ever I don't think I ever really no I can't you'd have to either change. that or he's got some experts in the IRS who are completely rebuilding an entire financial outlook of him that he can now release to the well, public. that's what they're doing <clears throat> Gingrich pretty much said that he can pardon, he and president can pardon anyone in his cabinet for any laws that they break. Well, <laughs> isn't that a nice precedent? We'd like you all to know if Trump comes into office that he can pardon anybody for any crimes. <laughs> oh, you need that before he goes in, do you? <laughs> That's disgusting. That's right. That's right. No, but you see, it's the same group. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'm going over to my dispensary. I'm going to stock up on my favorite drugs because the new attorney general <coughs> is anti-marijuana. Mm. You know, you know, so it's going to be a, the, 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 the government's going to take a new position on how states manage mm. marijuana. I think. So I'm going to get an extra supply. Well, <coughs> it's a... Uh, uh, so, see, you're allowing people to grow their own. Yeah. And that's a violation of their ethic. Mm. That means money not in their pocket. Yep. It's, you know, but uh, it's still this... This issue, this issue is very interesting. Very, very interesting. You know. <clears throat> have, have, have any of you followed the, my, my stuff on Facebook? No? I'm Good. sorry, I, 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 I you have. a little bit, yeah. Okay. I can't find it. Uh, you're a good person, Dad. Okay. Good. Uh, you have friends in Southern California? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> have you lived there for a while? <laughs> uh, have you lived in other places? Mm -hmm. Where? Utah. You, what? You? Utah. Utah. Uh, <clears throat> are they the same kind of people or are likely to be different? They're similar. Not they're different from most Southern California. Oh. Since you're, familiar, <laughs> since you're familiar with all of those things I've posted, yeah. what response do you think it would have on the, those people in Utah that you're familiar with? Well, I have a friend in Utah that is, he responds, I, I grew up with him, he's two years older than me, but he's the same way. He think, his responses are very extreme, um, like, you know, extreme right wing um, and very politically like her. I I read the response of that person that you're talking about, and she, her response reminded me of this guy because he thinks only in terms of that kind of thing, left wing, right wing, Democrat, Republican, and with a very liberal concern. Yeah. 
So I, I don't know if like most of my friends are not like him, but he's somebody who's uh, he's different on Facebook, and he would respond in a similar way as her, and most people in Utah mm -hmm. would. But a lot of my friends are, I would say, more liberal. But um, but anyways. So I, I, he would respond similar, and most people in Utah probably would respond similar to how she did. Um, but also, I didn't see anything that was. <coughs> what, I didn't see anything in your post that was necessarily even left wing or right wing. I didn't quite. Her response kind of came out of nowhere. I could just be misreading it. Yeah. Post now that's why this person who responded is so interesting. Mm. The, the, the whole web, the, everybody who responds on my website, they're all liberals. Hmm. And therefore, by, with that name, they could reject that content. Yeah. Hmm. But, yeah. And wow, I, I'm, <clears throat> I'm interested in that very much. Well, it's, it's think, like uh, George <coughs> Bush kind of, you're either with us or against us. You're either with us or you're the enemy. And we're Cheney. You know, that came up in 2000, so... Well, something about liberals antithetical to a point of view which is taken over. What, what, what is, what is, that's, what, what are we challenging? Uh, what, what, what do they see as being not liberal? What, what, what are they offering in place? Oh. <coughs> what we have to... <coughs> In this conversation, we've surmised. Well, surmised one of the so points. Far. One of the points I raised was I took on the issue of the blame, of political blame for Trumpism, and I said, "Look, uh, I take a different viewpoint." And I said, my, "My point of view is that the schools are the problem." Hmm. I said, "Because there are many people I know." make a great study of sports. They can talk about team strengths, their history, the key players. Right? They can make the best kinds of judgments you've ever, ever heard. And they can listen to an opponent, and they can deal with their objections and counter-objections as they praise and look for reasons to justify their position. Reasoning, man, that's good reasoning. So I raised in this point, why, it, why don't we in our schools take that and say, by the way, you can use the same kind of thinking in politics or religion or economics or anywhere. Or to look at different systems of belief. Why don't we do that? So, yeah, so that's the problem. That it's, a simple, problem. it's a simple problem. And that might be the answer to the question we were talking about? Yeah. That I raised earlier? And uh, the response was, that's a liberal viewpoint, rejected. Now what the hell is going on? Right? Because many people would, would say, yes, that's too liberal. Agreed? Yeah. Do you think... Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I don't hear... At least to me, I, what's liberal about that? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's I don't understand how it's uh, Yeah, I responded. I said, hey, this is not an issue of Republicans or Democrats. That that wasn't how to, what is an economic situation? That's yeah. How to look yeah. at what people not, are doing. Not, not talking about oligarchs, not talking about anything other than, hey, don't you find it curious that this kind of thinking qualitatively is a very sophisticated thinking, but we don't use that in our schools to t teach our kids. Why not apply the same kind of logic to everything, period, whether it's religion, philosophy, anything? It wouldn't cost anything. Didn't you, and I think it was you, Pierre, I, I thought that there was a point at which you mentioned the fact that and maybe it wasn't you. Well, well, anyway, the idea was that when the United States was founded, the educational system they cut away any kind of education about Europe or any other any other country in order to, in their thinking, 
create a, a an American yeah. consciousness. Yeah. Well, isn't this an extension of that, saying we don't need to know other viewpoints, we don't need to know, right, because we are American, we're American. So that to learn another viewpoint might lead to terrorism more, you know, that they fear, they don't really, I think, know how the terrorism mentality develops. So they probably think if you teach someone about Muslim Islamic law, that they're going to become a Muslim is Islam and blow things up. I mean, it's bad enough to become a Muslim Islam, but Islamic, but then to blow things up, that's taking it to one step too far. Sorry. What do you think, though? A kind of, what is this? Isn't there a name for that desire to have <clears throat> isolationism of thought as well as, go ahead. No, I think the point you're raising is very good, which is, you're saying, independent of everything else, you're going to have to deal with the fact that people are then going to make their own judgments about things, and you can't predict that they'll go along with what you want. Mm -hmm. And they may not want that. They may not want any independence yeah. of thought, yeah. or, yeah. and they don't think you can teach criteria, do they? To actually make sound judgments. Yeah, is that it? That's the fear of the mind. Categorical, uncompromising rejection of um, anything associated with the mind. Yeah, but they allow it. That see. is liberal. <clears throat> it is associated with the mind. It's as a category and uncompromisingly capable of being rejected. Yeah, I was once sitting with with my sister, which wasn't very often, and she's she was among the top ten in tennis at one time, and uh, she's got a bunch of cups here and there, and watching a tennis match, which again was pretty rare for me, and this woman made the most amazing distinctions. Holy Christmas. <laughs> like what? Woo! Style and rule. Hey, and especially one that knocked me over, like we were Not, not in the first row, but maybe in the oh. fifth or so, right? In the higher. And she said, uh, "Watch the serve. She's shifting the racket in her hand ever so slightly." And it's going to bring about a certain kind of. Yeah, I went. No. Like the kinds of distinctions that, that follow, you know, I can't even remember them all. And that's like that master class of Pablo Casals where he could, he could, he was, you know, uh, master class, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think you yes. tell the story, yeah. right? Yeah. That he could see, in hearing someone play, he could, he could say, you need to like make this minute adjustment mm -hmm. and it transformed that person's playing yeah. on their, the way they were holding the bow. Yeah. So what's your point? What do you think it is? <laughs> well, come on, what's my point? She's, she's, she's a liberal. She's come a on. liberal. That it is possible to bring people to the point of excellence and insight, and mm. um, and to be able to make judgments uh, in just about every field, and yet it's not done in the field that most reflects man's benefit. Oh, okay. Mm. So it's again good statement. Mm -hmm. yeah. Done in sports and athletics and music and mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. and I'm sure science and right every other field of expertise, right? Except social science. Well, social science, soft science. Yeah, so soft science. Mind, feeling, <laughs> humans. And they can't apply it any other place <laughs> or in politics. Yeah, fair enough. When I was big into singing, and I'd go and do a solo or something afterward and then all the crowds say, oh you did a great job you did a great job I'm like yeah thanks 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 really didn't care what most anybody thought except for other singers or directors people that I knew or at least on my level or better than me or similar I'm like you guys are the only ones that I care what you think how was my performance according to you you heard it these other guys don't know what they're listening to what do you think or you know if you can what could I have done better 
or was it right where it needed to be? You yourself That's right. could hear areas you could have hit better than you did. Right? It's usually not during the that final performance, the mm -hmm. one before where you're not in front of the audience. Ah. That's where, it, at least for my experience, mm -hmm. that's where I could judge myself. But it's still always helpful to hear somebody else who's very high in the same field and say, what do you think about what I was doing? Even if you disagree with them, you would like, you know, like, why did you think that? Mm -hmm. That's why we keep asking you questions, Peter. Why? Because he's top of the top of his game. Clearly. <laughs> Say more. Come on. Well, we ask you questions. Like we that. ask you how to tweet. <laughs> how to work. <laughs> or what kinds of things. Uh, like if you're tweeting, like question. you need to go in and, and better understand ourselves. Uh, tweeting might be twerking. So I can raise another another point, right, which is <clears throat> uh, why am I getting the response I'm getting? The the, uh, the, over, the broader general response from the people who are in in, in line with you are from that one person. Well, Maybe there's a hunger person. for intelligibility here. I like Maybe that. there's a hunger for intelligibility. Someone to make sense of what is going on. If that's true, <clears throat> yeah. If that's what they're calling liberal, mm -hmm. there's something else going on. But even she's trying to make sense of it too. She's trying to categorize it and say, "Oh, <coughs> I, I understand what's going on." So she's a liberal too. <laughs> so what well, do you think is going on beyond that? If that's the Oh. Oh yeah. There's a there's the real stuff. Yeah. The hard the hard stuff. <laughs> what do you think of that proposal for education? The STEM <laughs> deal? The one I proposed. No, like the sports thing. Say, hey, we can analyze sports and music, a few other fields quite well. How about we shift it into politics? One of the things about sports, people really enjoy being together and in that dialogue. And right. Yeah. So it has to be something that would allow people to want to get together and dialogue on that See. level of commitment about what they're committed to in terms of ideas. And we don't do that. We, we don't sit around the coffee the cooler and co try and come up with the smartest insight into the nature of well, whatever it is. Because, probably because our jobs are at stake. You know, you know, and you can't touch anybody now, do you? So you can't get too close. Uh, and, and, you, and you certainly can't get too close intellectually. Politically, right, this right. Is too ten We've made this, oh, that's this not culture very tenuous. Careful what you say. They're secretly are enjoying the, the sangha of it all. Well, yeah. wouldn't we have to find someone who can, yeah, right. like yourself maybe. Oh, you're one of those guys. You want make, to talk about social science. Make Thank distinctions you. among the various, like in, in laying out the various forms of religion or historical approaches or approaches to mathematics or in religions, that we'd have to have someone who could raise questions in order to generate the capacity to make distinctions, wouldn't it? Someone on the on a par with the guy of sports. And I think David's suggesting it should be fun, which I agree with, but um, someone yeah. who can make who can generate those kinds of questions to bring a scene about a scene in those people who were exposed to that education. Because I don't know if it would be enough well. to just have a book full of excerpts from religion like we used to have. We can have experts from all the different religions coming to speeches. There is there is something going on in, in language arts and history classes and things. They call it the Socratic dialogue. It's really not a Socratic dialogue. Um, it's half the class within responding to an assignment, 
at the teacher's will. Okay, you, you, you. And the other class taking notes. And then switching and half the, the other half of the class on the inner circle responding and interacting. And the outer, that's as close as I've seen to trying to develop a, a, a controlled dialectic system. It's not Socratic dialogue by any means, but at least it's a, a, an effort to get students talking to one another. Uh, I, I well, we could have David lead the class in the Parmenides. <laughs> Give me just ten, just ten short more years, and, and I'll be ready. All right. Well, <laughs> short. Say, Barbara. Mm. Um, <clears throat> What do you think of that idea of uh, teaching that kind of reflection in schools? Well, what kind are we referring to right now? The, the kind of showing different, walking through different. I like it. You heard it before? Actually, I don't know. I mean, other than we were, I, I just realized there's kind of a parallel structure between that and the, the hypotheses of Parmenides and the kind of reasoning. So, um, have I heard it before? Have I heard it before? Well, they have classes in things like comparative religions and even programs, but I don't think they get to the people that really need them, and they're not universal, they're not a requirement. So I'd say, off the top of my head, I haven't seen such a thing, although we do. Am I in wifery with pathologos that reflect certain religious structures and people reflect on them? But they are the ones they own, so to speak. Well, no idea. What if I distributed <clears throat> all of these posts that I designed and put them on the table <clears throat> and ask you, uh, so, uh, what do you think of what you're saying? Is there something common in all of this? Uh, is it by chance new? Uh, what kind of thing is this? Huh? Would that be a new post? Like a new kind of invitation? Mm. Put that post up there and re cut and paste and put them all in there and say, okay, here's my last 20 things. I'm, this is a new kind of Facebook. This is not a picture of your kid on his tricycle. This is the challenge Facebook, yeah. I, that's what I did with my Facebook. I, I, only put, I only put rants on there. I only put, I only put reflections. I don't, I've never put a picture of myself doing anything. Or your dinner. Unless, unless your I bicycle. can. Unless I can get a picture of me surfing, but that's never going to happen. Um, have you ever read any of my posts? Sure. They're pretty crazy, aren't they? No. Uh -huh. they're, they're, I like them. They're, they're, they're good. They're intelligible. They're liberal. They're, they're, they're very insightful. Liberal. <laughs> but he's talking about putting a challenge or putting the question on Facebook. It's like, okay, everybody, look at the last 20 responses and tell me what you see and they have in common? I don't know. Well, I thought they were the 20 posts no. that he's putting out. No. The 20 no. You see, <clears throat> Facebook is not designed ah. for what I'm doing. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> I noticed that too. Because, like, if you have, uh, I'd say more than five or six or ten responses to any particular, they don't show them. That's right. They just have a note that says... Five more if you want to see him, click on it. Right. That's right. So therefore, like there's a lot of people doing a lot of nice reflection. That's <laughs> 50. Mm -hmm. 32. What's going on, see? Well, Pierre, that's with most sites. Like, you know, if you want to review a product, you know, see when I buy a new camping thing and it says... There's 50 reviews, it shows the top five. But it gives you the option, show more. But that's up to you, and most people won't do that. You know, like, even me, I'm like, how much, I usually like, say if I wanna see something, how many people put five stars or four, read a couple of those, and then go to the one and two stars and see, is this one of those lunatics that's just whining about something, or did they have a real point? 
and then you got to make a judgment yourself what is likely to be the case out of all the, the ratings and go from there. You can't really, tra you know, tell them it could be somebody working for the company who just put five stars and then somebody who works for the other guy that put the zero. Or I see, suppose of, the <coughs> of any ten, one or two might be worth more visibility. Mm. Right. Um, yeah, how would you get those out? Up, up on the top, you know. Right, I mean. <clears throat> Facebook needs a rating system, four, five, three, two stars. And then all the five stars Wait a minute. get the Liberals? Call. Well, no, no. Liberals well, judging? No, that whoever makes a, makes a comment also gives a star oh. to how they think that their comment relates to the original idea. And then, and not other people, and they say, okay, yeah, I think I'm a two, but I'm in there. No, I want this to be a five. I want people to see this. So well, you know, there's a... needs to be redesigned. You're yeah. putting forward a very fine way of thinking. <clears throat> yeah, that, 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 that this wants to be, uh, I want to be the forefront in this dialogue. Yeah. Well, you know, what's interesting, too, is there's a shopping, a shopping website, Etsy, and they let you, you can search for anything, vintage, creative, whatever. But the thing about it is, you can you get us you get the search and it might say one thousand five hundred and seventy four items. So you can use by relevancy to your search term or by um, recent, right? And they also have other most expensive, least expensive. But relevancy and recent would be really interesting ways of organizing people's responsive or you know relevant relevant recent liberal conservative, you know, self-identifying or something. But it would be nice to have searches that you could shake out in any way you wanted to look at. Well, the problem with Facebook is that there's such a charm to it. People's, you know, you know a, 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 apart from people doing their own private marketing. Um, yes. Is the, um, you know, the, the, the sweet face of the couple that got back together finally. Um, the, the dog videos, thanks to Jed. Um, uh, As he looks over at you, you're responsible for those, by the way. No, because occasionally he'll, he'll, he'll get there. He does. There. He, he, he goes both ways. Um, the, um, that there I, needs to I'm be a joking. different kind of Facebook that has the same charm that allows for dialogue. Meaningful dialogue. What about... What about, but, I, I'm not I don't see how it would work in any other context because Facebook pulls you in with the charm and then you get to drop some bomb which nobody comments on except for Kate Chan and, and possibly you. Uh, okay. yeah, well, I just I tend to read that. Um, what about, is it Twitter that allows hashtag? Is that the Twitter thing? Yeah. Because, but they're very limited in length. Right. right. And, and is, is, does ha hashtag create a stream? I don't know about it. <laughs> but you could pull up everything with a certain hashtag, okay, right? Okay, all right. So uh, I that's, think that's all I know about it, which okay. is close to nothing, because I haven't gone on it. I love that this group doesn't know about that. This is probably the only group that doesn't. I mean, it's I don't all know corporate. I, 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 <coughs> the whole thing is, is I don't corporate. use any of it. I don't know either. And they're just meant to find out who your friends like are so they can send ads forever. to everybody. And they figure if you like it, your friends are going to like it. It's mm -hmm. all just mm -hmm. corporate. It's They're not there to you know, encourage I'm dialogue. Gonna, I'm not going to mention any name, Jeff Trail, <laughs> um, and his wife, Mark. Oh, really? But uh, she's always marketing stuff. So. It was pretty funny, not in terms of marketing, but there was some guy that I that is in the you know, Pierre Grimes' is no excite. He used to post pictures of girls behind, you know, and there'd be these. Oh yeah. You know. I know that guy. And, <laughs> and, I, and so nice. finally, I said, out. You know, I dropped him from my list because it was no he thrill. Was, he you was know? a pirate. He's got the booty. Yes, yes. exactly. So the job job pirate that. category. So, so, so we should get like uh, Jeff Stern to program a new to write a, yeah. book, a new Facebook. We could make gazillions of dollars if we all got you know, right. We could buy our new uh, or nothing. We, we could buy our <laughs> philosopher's Esalon then. Yeah. <laughs> Go yeah, Jeff. Good make idea. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but what about all those uh, troll farms they have now? I don't, I don't you know, go on Facebook or any of that Where they stuff. just, like if they I see mean, there's a lot of positive things, 
then the, they have these robots that use algorithms to say, okay, so many they positive, have. let's put in the negative, and they'll say, I don't like the liberal, I don't... Yeah, that's what it sounds like, that woman. Yeah. That woman sounds like a bot. Right. That, that a certain number of keywords come up, yeah. and then she'll come in and say, you guys sound like a bunch of liberals. Yeah, and I'm at the top. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something. It's a and, pretty good uh, insult back. So I like sound like a bot. Things. I'm predicting <laughs> that within three years, people will stop using computers because of the dangers of oh. hacking personal information. And, Every, the, and hacking And everything. of hacking our energy supply. H hacking Certain, everything. We have to become more distinct, more um, discriminating in what we have And the algorithms are getting stronger. So, you yeah. know, if I mention pot once, I'm right. going to be on some list, or if I mention um, um, Trump more than five times in, in, in the a pot bottle game. Uh, yeah, it's it's, and, and but mostly, you know, if Wahoo can get a billion hacks, if a billion Wahoo people were hacked, that means that uh, there is no longer any security for your credit card. There will be no longer any online banking. There will be oh, no longer That's any right. long on, uh, online. Um, Shopping or voting. And ninety percent of the internet is going to be rendered useless that be good by the, the Russians. Amazon, by like the Russians. We go back to source. Who are the who who originated this thing? I just heard something. You guys got to listen to this NPR. Fresh air. Thing? Fresh air on on the twenty first. Uh, the Russians invented false news. To do their Crimea, to uh -huh. do their to do their own publications, and, and Chechnya, it, was Chechnya, they invented it, and they've been doing it, and they are masters of it, and and furthermore, they're holding on to information that they got from the RNC, and they're holding on to information they have on all the senators, and this guy predicts that in the next couple of years, they're going to start using all that information against everybody, um, which it, it's kind of a moot point. Uh, it's not just going to be the DNC that's going to get taken down by these guys in WikiLeaks. It's going to be everybody. But the point is that the internet is no longer a place for people who have any any need for privacy to go. It's all. I mean, you can't do shopping on it. You're not going to be able to do anything on it. And I'd say within three years, it's going to be a bust. Where do you think it's bust? Uh, it, it, it would be. Facebook would be the only place you could go, and then there you'd have to be careful. The SPCA is going to be after you if you post too many dog videos. Facebook is terrible. They have your stuff forever. Yeah, I, I tried to get off once. You they wouldn't let get me off. off of it. Right. They said you have to do several things to your account and then not get or send anything for two weeks before we'll even consider taking you off. We're going to give you two weeks. To reconsider. Yeah. See how much you miss them. Uh, you look like you have one foot out the door, and I have a question, if you do. Um, I got an email from Winter Lazarus about your January sessions oh, yeah. on Thursday nights, yeah. is it? At the Bessant Lodge. Yeah. Shall I post that to our... Sure, if people want it. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean... No, no. I, I just didn't I want didn't to put it out it. there unless that was what you... It was no, okay no. with you. No, no. no. Okay. You're going back You're going, You're going. going back to L.A. <clears throat> for a couple of weeks? Uh, uh, ongoing. No, Lazarus asked me to run a talk, a series of talks there at his lodge. I said, okay. So, yeah, you can post. Okay. It. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's because he likes us or he hates us because the 110 freeway sucks. Oh, yeah. All the time. I've forgotten what time it is. is it, it's, I think it's an awful time. time. Right. I don't know if there is a good time. <laughs> Might as well go up there and spend the afternoon so you'll be there. Yeah. I know a great restaurant in, in that area. Have they opened Bodhi Tree again? Uh, no. Yes, I don't know. Bodhi Tree is now open. Again. Oh, oh yeah. Really? There's, and there's a great restaurant up there if you're into it. What's the really? restaurant? Where? Yeah. Have you been there? Uh, at the new Bodhi? Not, not at the new Bodhi. Is it the no. same location? I don't know. That's why I asked. Oh, yeah. well, let's check. Do it. My, my phone has not worked in two months, so I don't know. How is that possible? Okay, I want to know where I should write about STEM. <laughs> you want to give me an what answer? You, what are you playing dumb for? I think you. I think you can raise a lot of hackles if you publish it in the school newspaper because ninety percent of that school is STEM. 
Right. Well, what do you mean 90% of STEM? I mean, most of that school is medical science, technology, and uh, science, technology. Uh, uh, I don't know. It says permanently closed. Yeah, it's returning. Oh. Yeah. You can write your history. You know, I, I had to write them. I had to send them a letter. These, you know, give me your whole history. Right yeah. Well, it. the fact that you have Beautiful 10 art. years or 15 years of grant writing under your belt and that you've seen the trends and that you have the evidence and right. you, you have the you have the credentials to write this yeah. because you've already seen the direction that grants are going. Yeah. And, and then you add that to That's the a, agenda of STEM and then you do a quick study on how much money is going outside of STEM and you got yourself an article. And it's like, well, how? A book. A book, excuse me. Well. Also, <laughs> if she wants to. Yeah. But, but you do. You, you of all people probably have the credentials. Just right. sitting there typing up those little grants, you're the you're, you're, you're the you're the mole. Yeah, and she's in that local school. I see you. You still right. over there? Huh? You still do grant writing? No, no. I retired from there. But um, like when George Bush the second came in, graduate students in all these fields could. There were typically two times a year when the National Science Foundation would accept applications for graduate students to seek funding. Like, political science, when George Bush came in, went down to one time a year. Well, that's, that's... That was, like, shocking. That's part of a paragraph. Right. That's a part of a paragraph, right. So that's just an example of how... I wish I wrote. I'm pretty smart. Um, I should do stuff. Nah. What, care? what about for amenities? Yes. Tomorrow? Christmas Day? Not that Mon Monday. Yeah, Monday. 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 Yeah, sure. Christmas okay. Day. Is <laughs> I just want to be sure I know what's happening. Yeah, sure. Which? So it's not on tomorrow? No. Uh, it's not on tomorrow. Looks like. Is it on There's too many Christmassy things going on. I didn't understand. He said Monday. No, I didn't. He, I he said, said Monday. Monday. I forgot this. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, I think not. I said no Sunday. <laughs> so you want? Well, get back with me. Yeah, I'll get back. I'll get back to you. Okay. I don't think I can do Christmas Day. What? I don't think I can think I can do Christmas Day. But thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to slip all these bowls into your kitchen? Yeah. Can everybody help Gina clear off the table? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <clears throat>